BMW wants to take some of Audi's thunder. BMW is revamping its X3, hoping to chip away at Audi's growing share of the compact SUV market in the U.S. BMW even shifted its global production of the X3 to South Carolina. Joining us now from Spartanburg is uh, Jim O'Donnell. He's president of BMW North America. Mr. O'Donnell, welcome to Bloomberg News. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Delighted to be here. Sir, why Spartanburg? Sunny in South Carolina. Why Spartanburg? Well, we set up home here 15 years ago. It's uh, the center of competence for our X Drive now, where we produce for the world all our X5s and X6. So it was a natural home when we were going to develop a new X3 to bring it here. And so now we produce all the X3s, X5s, and X6 here in Spartanburg. Is, is the X3 how you, in fact, chip away at Audi's market? Oh, yes. I mean, I think that we have given up the market with the old X3 for this last two years. We used to dominate the market. We used to sell 34,000 X3s when there was nobody else in the market. Now you've got the situation where the Q5 is there selling 20,000, the GLK is selling about similar numbers. This year we will only sell 6,000 of the old cars. What? Next year we'll be back on top. Why, why did that happen? Why did you guys fall behind? Why? Because the technology in our car at the moment it wasn't as good as the new, fresher competition. Uh, we didn't put any sales allowances behind the car. We let it find its natural level against those competitions. To be fair also, it was priced higher than the competition. That's why this time we've reduced the price by $2,100, the entry price, and we've added equipment. So it's a much better proposition all around. Now, even reducing that price, it'll still be a little bit more expensive than the Q5, correct? Yes, it will be. It'll be about 7% uh, when you take into account uh, equipment adjustments. And so what do you think is going to get people to, to spend that little bit of an extra money when you're looking at two vehicles that are roughly comparable? Well, I think firstly it will have better residual values than the Audi. It will have a bigger size, it's more room than the Audi. It's more efficient engines, it's got eight-speed transmissions, delivering better economy. So I think the overall package is better. And also I think yeah. that if you look around the country, BMW dealers are better than Audi dealers by far. Mr. O'Donnell, in the past two years, BMW has invested about a billion dollars in its U.S. operations. Uh, why so much here? Because I think what we do is we invest where the market is. And this traditionally has been our biggest market in the world. It fell into second place during 2008 and 2009, but next, and 10. But next year, again, it'll be back to be the biggest market. So it's a natural hedge. It confirms our commitment to that country. Uh, I think it rubs off on the consumer when they see that we are putting our money back in the U.S. We're now the biggest export of cars from the U.S. outside of NAFTA. So I, I think that uh, we are really good American corporate citizens right. and we want to be seen to be that way. All right, Jim O'Donnell, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Jim is the president of BMW North America talking about the new X3 from the new annex, if you will. They're expanding that uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina plant uh, to produce the X3 as well as some of the other vehicles. Well, uh